Real, real, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes. He gave me the victory. So many people doubt him, man. I can't live without him, man. That is why I love him so, because he's so real to me. Real, real, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes. He gave me the victory. So many people doubt him, man. I can't live without him, man. That is why I love him so. Because he's so real to me. All right. So here I am, the Potter and Maggot. She's five years old. Okay. All right. Uh, well, let me try to get you a little short story here that really happened in my life. I was driving some school buses when I was in Texas. You know, whoo, place called Bastrop County. My goodness, that was something else. But anyway, this guy, he walks up to me and he says, Dee, Dee, I got to tell you something. I got to tell you. <sighs> what is it? Then he told me this little story about there was a little girl. Every day she came on the bus, he always sits her behind, just like where Nugget is sitting. Always sits behind him. Because she was sweet and she was a lovely little girl. Just had a sweet demeanor. Always sat behind him. Then one day he was driving the bus and he picked up these bad kids. They were girls. They came on the bus and he tells them to go way back there to sit down in the back of the bus because they're cursing. Oh, their cursing was cursing. So he kept saying, sit in the back of the bus, sit in the back of the bus. And one day he was outside the bus doing some, was looking at his bus to see if something was wrong or something he rolled over or whatever. And the girls came in and they got the little girl that was sitting right behind him to the back of the bus. He got on the bus and he says, oh, where is Carmelita? She's sitting way back there. I don't know what her name is. I would just call her Carmelita. And so um, the girls, the bad girls were saying, oh, she's good. She's with us. It's all right. So he can't hear what's going on because they're way at the back of the bus. Can't hear them. Okay, a couple of weeks rolled by. They kept scooping up the girl, taking her to the back. He's yelling at the girl, hey, come up here. You got to come up here. Come on. No, it's okay. I'm all right. I'm back here at the back of the bus with the kids. A couple of days went passing. Next thing you know, when the girl, bad girls came on, they cursed the driver out. And Carmelita was with them, and she didn't say nothing. She went with the bad girls to the back of the bus, okay? Then one day, the girls at the back of the bus said something really ugly at the front of the bus, yeah. some curse words. And what happened when he went to the back of the bus, the little sweet girl that he loved so dearly, trying to put her behind him and wanted to sit with the girls, the girls was cussing him out and then Carmelita said some choice bad words too at the driver. He was heart struck and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, how can this good girl turn bad? And next thing you know, she was cursing along with the bad girls. He was so upset. He came to me, it's like his eyes were in tears. He can't believe this happened. How can this happen, D? How come this happened? So I told him. Okay. I gave him a Bible verse. And let me find it here for you. 
I have to tell him this. This isn't the Bible says, okay? 1 Corinthians, 15th chapter and 33rd verse says this. Be not deceived. That means don't be amazed. Deceived means, you know, be not deceived. Don't be surprised. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupts good manners, period. Let me say that again. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupts good manners. I don't care how good you are, but if you're sitting beside somebody who is, <laughs> of course, she's tickly, cursing and cursing and cursing, she's going to pick it up. I know you don't think, oh, I don't think so. I can be good. You will pick it up. Many a times when I'm driving my bus, kids be behind me doing all this, I tell them, I don't want to hear the cursing because all that does is seeps into my ear and it makes me want to be bad too. Mm -mm. But I have Jesus. Okay? So, evil communication corrupts good manners. It's just, that's the way it goes, okay? So, if you're trying to be good, and you sucked up to your friends, and they're doing all this bad stuff, sooner or later, you're going to be bad too, okay? Because you're open. You have to have Jesus in your life. You have to be real for Jesus. Okay, because that is what counts, being real for Jesus Christ. Nothing. I always tell my students, there's only two ways to go, up, down. It's just that easy, okay? So you have to be real, but you got to be real for Christ, Jesus Christ. If you're not real for Jesus Christ, it won't work. Okay? So we're going to sing our song. Real, real, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes. He gave me the victory. So many people doubt him, and I can't live without him, and that is why I love him so, because he's so real to me. All right, I'll see you guys later. Be real for Christ. Don't just be real. Bye. Be real for Christ. That is what counts. Bye-bye. Amen.